Welcome back everyone to the channel. So we're going to try something a little different today. I got my friends with me, some of my Battlefield veterans with me. I thought it would be cool to share our thoughts on the game so far as it's about a week in and we'll let you know what we think about it. Uh, with me today is Beast Mizzle. Hello, hello. Maggot Mikey. Shenanigans. And Rockin' Socks Brandon. Brandon, what's your real in-game name? I know I'm butchering it. Rockin' Socks is 92. Nice. All right, what do we think, guys? What do we like? What do we dislike? Let's start with the negative, because everyone wants to well, hear sure about the negative. Everybody. Don't forget about the bomb shakers. Oh, here's Auburn. Auburn's with us. Auburn's finest. Uh -oh. Welcome. We're going to give this a whirl, guys. All right, who's heavy breathing into the mic? Can you give it a rest, please? Or pull the mic back? <laughs> Holy shit. It was probably me. Yeah. All right, so anyway, what do we think, guys? What about the negatives? Let's start with the negative first. Auburn, we're going to start with you. What don't you like about the game so far? When uh, you kill an enemy and his buddy spawns up right beside him. Right. Any? What Kills do we think you. about that one? I th I think that's partially because he's probably spawning in on him as you're killing him. So but sometimes uh, when you do that though, because when I've tried to respawn on y'all, if somebody's shooting at your buddy, it won't let you spawn in until he's no longer getting shot at. What do you guys think is causing that? Could it be something that could be patched, or you think it's game design? I, I don't I don't get how they do it because every time you guys are getting shot I try to spawn and get the under fire But as soon as you yes. kill a motherfucker yeah. their teammates are like right next to you Billy, what about you? Uh, you and I are pretty partial to this game So we don't have much negatives, but if we had to pick something what what would you think it would be negative? Yeah, not there's not much that, besides that yeah. I, I, I would say have a problem with it. I like well, it. I would, yeah, I would say menu systems, right? The lag between the menus, yeah, just, the delay yeah. and stuff like the, that. The start, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The start button into the slow, yeah. like menu and system I, is just not. Working. And the game joining. If your yeah. buddies oh, yeah. playing the game, well, joining, the, they should have that, that more makes sense because of games. But it makes sense because of all the the gigs that it's using. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, no, that wouldn't have well, anything that, to do with the gigs, takes. being able to... Well, the loading, yeah, but trying to join in on somebody, I think what Auburn's saying is it's tough to do that, but... Um, I guess it could be... There's no trying, real... Like, I, I think what Auburn's trying to say, there's no real selection, like the last, no, like, hard no line. You could, you could squad join, no matter where you were. You could squad like up before trying, the match. Yeah. Like, if I'm trying to join with y'all, and say somebody, some one of my other friends are at home, it'll pop there join game up and not jealous and it doesn't so say who's friend it'll just say a it. friend right you won't even yes. get the specifics on that yeah so yeah. hopefully that'll be improved i don't know why they just can't let us create a squad before we do it and i think part of that might be because it can't always fit all of us into a match together so we might have a squad of five and if there's only three slots open we'll never get in but fuck it if we gotta wait we gotta wait that's why we want to party up yeah. but wouldn't that yeah. have been the same situation for the other ones, though? Because we could squad up before it wasn't a problem. So why would it pose a problem in a game that's basically the same? Yeah, no one on top point, of Water Tower, Billy. Point taken. Huh? Sorry, guys. The uh, friends what? are playing the game while we're going here, so you may hear some call-outs, too. All right, so Double with um, the positives, let me tell you something. Being wait, a demolition... Wait, wait. Oh, you got... oh, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon, you got a negative. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip you, buddy. What about your negatives? What All do you right. think? Here's the, here's the only negative I have is the fact that you can't go into the game's options and swap the L1, R1, L2, <laughs> yeah. R2. That's actually another thing. I missed that because I can get... I'm getting used to the L2, R2, but I like L1, R1. That's how I've always done my games. My first-person shooters yeah, have always been that way. And for some reason, Battlefield, they always patch it like a month later and put that in. It's almost like they're hoping people don't ask for it. <laughs> Which is unbelievable because if, when they don't put it in, people go crazy about it. Yeah. Yeah, all I right. found myself switching back to COD and like being all sorts of messed up, yeah. especially after this one. Let's talk about some of the positives. I'm going to bring up a surprising one. Um, there's a ton of positives, ton of friggin' positives, but one of them, I love the spotting system. I love that you can't light up the whole fucking team. It adds an element of stealth to it, and you're, you know, less apt to, to be just spamming the spot. Yeah. Every, the well, whole I game. was guilty like, of it. Hardline Battlefield. Yeah, time. Hardline Battlefield. I would spam the fuck out of the spot, so they were all lit up, so there was no element of surprise. Now there's an element yeah. of surprise in the game. Now you can flank and not worry about being spotted. Much better. Spotting really is useless. I think they could buff it a little bit because it's like a second and a half, two seconds maybe. And by the time you successfully spot someone, you're getting shot in the back. 
So I don't want to draw any comparisons Second. to Call of Duty, but I'm going to bring this up now. The little, uh, I'm going to call them specialists. The sentry gun, the flamethrower. It's kind of a, a specialist class in the game, don't we think? What do we think about those? I mean, I'm okay with them because not everybody has them. It's one, maybe two spawns per map. Yeah. And you have to be near it to get it. You know, this is kind of simplistic, and it really has nothing to do with the gameplay. Well, I guess it kind of is, but the weather. I like the fact that you never know what kind of weather you're going to get in the map. It always changes. It's exactly. never the same. That makes it fun. The fog is crazy yeah. as fuck to play in. I love that shit. Yeah. It takes... It takes... It takes some adapting. I don't really want to say skills because it's not the right word, but you know, it's it throws in a different curveball of the gaming. It makes it so the game's never the same game. Yeah, always doing something new. <sighs> not like, oh, we get to go to the same left. Let's go to B. Let's go to B. It's not the same crap like that. Let's go you to know, Auburn's. It's not like somebody bought Nuketown 700 times. Yeah, let's go to Auburn's <laughs> point. It doesn't take 75 shots to kill someone. That, I. You know, Battlefield 4 had it, it had its issues. The Phantom Bullets, Hardline was great hit detection. BF1 hit detection is fucking ridiculously good. I have no issue oh, with that. It. There are times where I feel I got a bullshit death here and there, but it's not really because of the hit detection. I just felt like I got the jump on someone or I might have run out of bullets, all that shit, but I never feel like I really got cheated out of a kill. Not to throw back to the negative because we're on the positives, but one thing that I wish that they would take care of is the gas grenades. Holy shit, man. And the reason why is because if you're not using a hip fire weapon, like me running assault with the demolitions expert, as I so fondly call myself, it doesn't matter if I have that mask on because I can hip fire that gun and it's perfectly accurate. But if you're using the Rigatti or some of those other guns, you're fucked trying to hip fire that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I, it, 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 I, I snipe. You can't snipe with a fucking gas mask on. Yeah, there's no combating it. You have to move from your spot unless you switch to your secondary, and you know then you're fucked. Kill it down. I mean, there should be central. some sort of drawback to when you aim down sight with the gas mask. Like you central. should have some oh, sort of Nick, you know you decreased nuts. sight. Obviously, yeah. how it is when you're um, hip firing, anyways. But you should definitely have a, a way worse uh, decreased sight. When it comes yeah. to aiming down the site, but you should definitely be able to aim down the site. Right. Well, I think we're gonna wrap it up there, guys. I think we should host a few Ooh, more of these sessions. But overall, though, sure thumbs up from everybody. I think uh, we love this game for the first Ooh. week, week and a half that it is. I think it's. Uh, yes, yeah, Mike. You better not get this. Shout out, out to Sean DeFazio. Shout out to Sean DeFazio. We're gonna hop on Battlefield One soon. Yeah, one of our friends is holding out. He's resisting the urge because, uh, you know, admittedly, Battlefield 4, the launch sucked. It burned a lot of people. Hardline with the spawn trapping and its terrible spawns. I don't blame him for being scorned, but our loyalty has paid off because Battlefield 1 has been a fucking home run. Not without its and problems. And I was a Call of Duty player. Yeah, and Auburn switched over. Not without its problems, but if you're willing to learn, uh, the guns are definitely different. It's a, it's a different style game. It's, it's not the Battlefield that, you know, it's Battlefield, but... There's a different mechanic to this one. I, I embrace it. I think this is the, the first person shooter that we've wanted for a while now. So, anyway, thanks and to my friends creators, for. Uh, wait, 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 wait. And oh, if the guessing. creators are listening, yes. please oh, yes. <laughs> put disarming and hand to hand combat in this game, and it'll be the best game anyone's ever played. Yeah, Billy, throw your <laughs> idea out. What do you, why don't you wordsmith that a little bit? What, what would you like to see with the hand to hand combat? I want to see you should be able to disarm somebody and then have to fight them. Like, like, like close quarters, you can knock the gun out of their hands, and then you can just fucking start duking it out, right? Straight up hand-to-hand -hand combat. Punching yeah. left and right, you know what I'm saying? You gotta move back and forth, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like two or three shots, get it a makes knockout. It more, gives it m more realistic that we all love. Everyone loves realistic games. <laughs> just not that you feel the pain, but you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying. You know what I'm saying? Not not saying. saying. All right, yeah. thanks. <laughs> Thanks, friends. We'll have to do this again. Thanks, everyone, as always, for the support. I'm Donnie Dunn. Thanks for watching.